I want to mention um, two things. Number one, I really, really want this kind of music tote bag. It looks really big and it's, I love the colors of it. It's a, you know, a regular tote bag, but the main canvas size, the, the main canvas compartment is yellow with the kind of music logo written in hot pink and the straps are a green. So that I really like that kind of combo. But the main thing I wanted to talk about was this trend that everyone's doing now of these IV drips after you've kind of recovered from a real night of absolutely getting on it and getting absolutely blasted. It's kind of lame, isn't it? Especially when all these men are over the age of 30. Some of them probably have kids. Some of them maybe have grandkids. I just find it incredible. I just find this like, this has a lot of dad energy like a lot of kind of dad energy and I don't know why it's become cool because I think it was kind of popularized by Dave Chappelle and that lot right that's why I remember seeing it first um, especially within the men's circuit because he would do these tours and invite all his friends along to come and do these shows of him around America I think this might have been during a pandemic or maybe after in the middle of the pandemic I'm not sure what happened um but I remember him doing those shows and one of the big things that he would do is that he would hire out these suites in these hotels and have these people come in to do IV drips in terms of getting nutrients or whatnot back into your body after, you know, a crazy night of partying. And obviously you can only imagine what a night of partying would be like with Dave Chappelle's crew and shit included because all those guys are quite you know free especially when Joe Rogan's involved they're free with the tab and they want to get everyone drunk everyone to have a good time and shit so the same thing will probably occur if you're a DJ right you go out and play these amazing events you have a good time you go to the you go to the private after party after hours thing whatever you do you then go back to your own villa and it's just debauchery after debauchery after debauchery right you just have an absolute whale of a time doing exactly what you want and living your life but I don't know if this is the marker of cool. I don't know if kids, it's a strange industry, right? Because for the most part, a lot of the people who are really successful are the ones who are way older than their clientele, you would imagine. Maybe it's different with kind of music because of their crew and shit and how they kind of carry themselves. But for the most part, most people who go to clubs are quite young. So then you're, you're trying to impress kids at like, what, 22, when you're like 35 plus that you go out clubbing and you go hard by posting pictures of yourself with your boys again no girls involved just you and the lads <laughs> with your IV drips and it's just a little bit I don't know this, it just comes across lame I don't know what it is about it I just think it looks a little bit lame maybe it's me hating because I'm not there and I want to be part of it and I want to be there as a hanger on rolling up the weed pouring someone's drink wiping their ass <laughs> racking up their lines for them you know what I mean maybe I want to be that person doing that but I don't think it's that's the case I just think it just looks a little bit lame it just looks really hardcore lame and I think me personally I prefer having the real life kind of private nature of clubbing kept to myself there are some videos are uploaded and compilations whatnot, but why I actually get up to and what I'm like and what I'm doing when I'm out there it doesn't need to be documented I don't need to have like pictures of me recovering and shit I find all that stuff kind of crappy I do know there's a period of time in my life where when do you remember when we used to upload stuff on uh on facebook via like mobile uploads and stuff and people used to just upload many things this before maybe instagram was maybe as popular as it is i don't know whenever there was a period of time where facebook was popping and, and i used to do myself upload many many pictures of myself out and about via mobile uploads and i'd upload like hundreds right i'd upload fucking me walking down the street blurry picture of my feet moving a uh, picture of me opening a door a post office picture of me eating a flipping baguette it's whatever nonsense shit either me having a picture of me having a pint picture of me having a jaeger shot picture of me having whatever nonsense shit and i used to like sharing that because i felt like it was a good way to kind of catalog and sort of like share my day-to-day -day shit but then looking back and i remember at the time it felt a bit lame because it's like oh wow you drink wow i'm i drink alcohol so cool so edgy right i wear cool trainers so cool so edgy i have cool pants so cool so it kind of came across a bit lame and i just stopped myself i remember catherine was thinking what are you doing like who are you trying to impress that you go out on a friday night everyone that goes on a friday night you drink a pint of beer everyone drinks a pint of beer it's not that impressive um so sometimes i feel like this sort of like oh we, we went so hard we have to do iv drips or stuff it's like some people out there don't even have the benefit of having IV drips. They go back to working a full-time job the day, day after. I've done it many a time. 
um you know surviving on on nothing short of maybe uh flipping a uh, filter coffee from pret manger and a flipping um egg sandwich rolls or sort of breakfast roll type of thing uh, or sometimes not even that since i've just have egg mcmuffin from flipping mcdonald's and they keep it moving so this kind of boasting of the whole ivy drip thing is just a little bit uh, redacted because again it's not cheap do you know what i mean it's something that you also have to pay for because you have to get these guys to kind of come out to your compound or whatnot and administer this shit to you but pff, i don't know i find it really lame this is just my opinion maybe i'm i'm kind of being um you know nitpicky about it but i just find it incredibly redacted that you would share something like this and think it kind of makes you look cool don't get me wrong the view behind them is sensational wherever they are um in i guess the they're in ibiza in a place called the beach caves that looks absolutely phenomenal but the sitting down with your friends uh, it's funny enough one of the guys there is a flipping gracie black belt uh, he's actually part of the gracie family in terms of jujitsu that's kind of funny but you know sitting down there with your friends posted up with your little ivy drips just looks a little bit r-worded to me personally but the the location itself where they're at is absolutely phenomenal i'm assuming they probably got invited there it's all probably been comped out or the interior design Whoa, come on they've got an inbuilt studio in there too of course they have this ib for why wouldn't they have a studio in there oh wow 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 gotta press a like on that one and favorite so i can come back later but yeah this is incredible to see this beach caves ib for place is pretty cool I, this is the one place i still haven't been at sure is that fasarazi no it's not it's other place um this is the one place i still haven't been i still haven't been to ib for one of the main things i haven't actually visited um i actually need to go and check out especially as a as somebody who's really into clubbing and shit it's definitely a place that i should probably be checking out in it but yeah i believe it looks fucking cool but god almighty man this location was absolutely phenomenal so yeah big up him i guess in it living the life doing your thing don't listen to me